I know a lot has been said. For that reason, I will not go to say much in terms of uh, what has been said before. But just once again to really say how great and we appreciate you and the first family for setting a role model that I do believe uh, if the next uh, uh, readership of this country can bowl a leave, it will make a difference for this nation. I'll give two examples, sir. Uh, if you recall when you were still in the Treasury, there are two things that we did start, and which it is you, and if it was not for you, would not have been completed. If you take, for instance, the expressway, it is a concept we had started when you were still in the Treasury. When one is driving there, you add up whether I used you in Nairobi or you are in one of those uh, uh, places that we call developed part of the world. So thank you very much, Your Excellency, for that. The other one is <laughs> the Standard Gauge Rail. And if it was also not for your drive, there are those either out of uh, envy would have wanted to create the challenges for it to, but you moved and said, you know what you're doing, and one day Kenyans will remember you. And indeed today, we have the standard gauge rail going all the way to Naivasha. Thank you, Your Excellency. I will not mention many other, but I felt I mentioned those two because to me, those were great investments that Kenyans will always remember, even when we joke about the British and the the rail that they did they put, they realize if it was not for you, the Kenya that we have today would not be where it is. Thank you very much, sir, for making me the first spokesperson who was female. Thank you for helping me write history, and I do not take it for granted. And for PSU, Your Excellency, they want to say a special thank you because you've enabled them to carry out their mandate, and we say thank you very much on behalf of all the other departments. Your Excellency, as we finish, we just want to ask that the Lord will bless you, that the Lord will keep you, that the Lord will strengthen your codes, that the Lord will en enlarge your territory, but above all together with your family, that no pestilence will come before you, that a thousand may fall on your right hand side and 10,000 will fall on your left hand side, but no harm will come upon you. We will miss you. You miss us, but we will miss you more as your staff and we will miss you the most as the president of this republic. You have given us the opportunity to shine in the international market. You have given us the opportunity to be known as Kenya. And we thank you. May God bless you and may God bless your family. Thank you. At the very start, when you took office, Your Excellency, you rightly emphasized that public office was a trust. We were here to serve the people of Kenya. That had implications. It meant, of course, building on the legacy of those who had come before we were here to honor the memory and achievements of the predecessors here at State House and build on what they had left us. No less important was your mandate to make our service to Kenyans more transparent, more accountable, and more prudent. We had to be ready to give a full account of the public trust we held to the Kenyans for whose sake held. Matters of some importance indeed, indeed. So I ask, have we, have we let ourselves be guided by the president's vision and what the country ought to be? Have we been faithful to the trust the president and the people of the republic have placed in us? I think we have. In the assessments released by the cabinet secretary, in the Ministry of Public Service, we have remained in the top three of ministry, ministries, agencies, and departments since 2018. Further, we have won the Auditor General's Financial Reporting Award in 1919 and 1920, proof not just by the high standard of our work, but also of our willingness to accept close public scrutiny. Have we remembered and honored the public servants who came before us? We have, under your leadership, sir. We have the first presidential library and museum in the country's history.
improve of your awareness of the importance of close attention to our past. Nor were, we, were these achievements gained at the expense of our staff. We have served those who serve. Under your leadership, your excellency, sir, we have established a bereavement kitty, Christmas gift and parties, and a new administration block. No less important, and at your instructions, we have overhauled the process of promotions here and emphasized the importance of merit for advancement of this. Let me comment, Your Excellency, on this paragraph. Uh, under your guidance, we have made sure not a single of our staff of whichever level have ever lacked when they are either breathed or they have some sequence at home. We have followed your guidance and we have always made sure we have stood by, by them and they can all testify. Nobody has ever been left to struggle. Our children have been well mentored under the People Reward Scheme, PRES, which extends to, to identify children through the country who would benefit from the president, president's patronage and encouragement. Let me also mention the President's Green Army Initiative. I, I don't know whether the Green Army are here under, under the Brigadier. Uh, he is in white, but he lead a, a Green Army. Are they here? Ah, wonderful. Uh, those, that army, green, uh, known as Green Army, when COVID came, Your Excellency, you directed that the young people, the young children, young men and women, of whose their parents are the staff here, should not be left idle. And whereas everybody else who are in charge of certain areas supports had to stay at home, they stepped in. They did better than what we were doing uh, when corona was not there. They have kept the standards of cleanliness of this um, institution very, very high. Not only that, you taught and trained them how to save. They have a cooperative. You are going to leave them very rich, uh, young men, very responsible, though, uh, children who knows how to, to save. And, um, and uh, we thank you for, for this, Your Excellency, because you have really given them a training which they will value all their, all their lifetime. On the President's concern for education, I wish especially to thank you for your concern for our children here who would have lost far more of their school time had, had they not facilitated state house school, which allowed them to continue to learn through the COVID pandemic. It is not, and it was not intended to be a substitute for ordinary education, but as anyone who has seen recent research into the consequence of children of being out of school, you know, there have been few things better for their development than letting them continue to learn. Here too, we owe you, the president, and our, uh, and our first lady, uh, our gratitude. Equally, Her Excellency, the first lady, health program gathered under the Beyond Zero banner have been a great benefit not just to the wider public, but to those two who serve the president and people of Kenya right here in this office. And again, while we are thinking about the president's concern for our welfare, I wish to mention, and with, with the help of gratitude, the care you have taken of the security staff in a variety of ways through your care throughout your time in office and of their families when they have lost their lives in the line of duty. Sir, we are immensely grateful and may the Lord rest the source of comfort the families of those who have lost. I feel greatly privileged to have served under you, sir, and to have had your guidance and support throughout my time here, sir. The same is true of everyone for whom I speak for. Our time in public service under your leadership has been a privilege because you have shown us precisely how to serve your warmth, your generosity, your openness, 
to other Kenyans and your care for their good, your patriotism. And these have set a lasting example uh, to us, sir, and uh, the first uh, lady. You have been our model of what a leader can and should be. That is why, even though it will soon be time to part, your legacy is safe. Your example will always remain in our hearts. And wherever we go, whatever comes after, we will ever remember and emulate the, the generosity, the openness, and the patriotism that were your gift to us and to the Republic.